back to my channel if you guys already didn't know my name is morgan and in today's video i'm actually not going to be okay this is gonna be, i'm just gonna do like a bake with me type of video i'm not gonna it's just gonna be a box cake usually i make everything from scratch um whether that's like pasta or zucchini bread or overnight oats you know um i'm actually doing like a family dinner with like my mom's side of the family and then like other I don't want to say other people because I don't know if you like okay whatever besides that but I'm gonna make it making I'm gonna make one box but instead of following the box I'm actually going to see if I can do like the TikTok version so like just like um like changing this stuff so like instead of like water you do milk and then instead of oil you do um melted butter so i'm gonna see if i have enough milk to do that if not i'm just gonna follow the recipe and then actually calls like extra i only have four eggs right now which is kind of sad but um yeah the oven's on right now um and then i was keeping these eggs for my sisters but i have about three not even three i was like two hours to let the cupcakes bake cool and frost so yeah let's get started so this is what the recipe calls for it's like the box batter add an extra egg this is what i got off of tiktok and then this calls for half a cup of oil so use half a stick no a stick of butter which is half a cup and then you want one cup of water and you're going to replace that with one cup of milk and then get yourself a bowl and we'll put everything together you guys can see but as you can tell i have a shell so take your leftover egg shell if you have one and scoop up your shell like that I'm using one hand, so it's kind of hard to do that, but just scoop it up and there you go, there's problem solved. Alright, so from here everything's pretty much self-explanatory, follow the instructions, add the replacements into your batter, it's actually a super thick fluffy batter, and this is what your consistency should look like, super thick and smooth cake batter consistency. And here you can see me lining and um, hopefully scooping all the batter in, it took actually about two scoops of a batter it actually made perfectly exactly 24 cupcakes which is amazing because usually i don't get that many out i usually get like 18 um so it was actually really nice and fluffy um so that was the thing that i was happy about is i was actually able to get 24 perfect cupcakes out of this box which is like what it usually calls for but here are all the cupcakes that I made and was able to fill, like I said, 24, and that's li literally like the leftover batter that I had. And this is what I used to scoop my cupcake batter into the cupcake holders. And then follow the ingredient, I mean the instructions on the back, um, and bake for about 15 minutes at 350. I wouldn't say it no longer, no shorter, or just until they're done. And um so that's it all right so the cupcakes whoa would warm my hair cooked for like 17 minutes they came out literally so beautiful you guys i'm just gonna literally come it came out so nice um normally what i wouldn't have so i'm just gonna let them cool up the on a cooling rock to have them cool faster it's like almost four so i'm gonna go clean up my mess and then i'm gonna start looking at my mom's buttercream recipe so yeah i'll update you guys look how fast the cupcake it's like 4 15 a little less little earlier than that um but I saw this like at the grocery store when you get like cupcakes from like Ralph's or something. They come in like a container. So my mom has some of those. So I'm gonna put the cupcakes in there and frost them like that just to make my life ten times easier when frosting the cupcakes so I don't get them all messed up and touch every single one. Like you know. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make the frosting. And I'm gonna put what you need for the frosting. It's just like one of those like Betty Betty Crocker frosting things. I don't know. So we'll see if I have enough of everything to make enough bread. You guys really can't see my KitchenAid, but you're going to want one cup of butter. I'm using a regular whisk, so put all your butter together and we grab a spatula, a little piglet spatula. Um, like so. I had to put mine in the microwave for like five seconds because it was just not um what do you call it not room temperature it's like butter consistency so you're gonna blend your 
sugar and butter. So I have one cup of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. But when you're measuring your powdered sugar, you're going to want to measure by spoon, just like flour, same concept, people. Um, so we're going to do this. I'm going to measure this one out with you guys. I have to grab a bag of confectioner sugar from the garage because I don't think I'm going to have enough for another cup in here. We'll see. Maybe. But, um, my cup's getting pretty full, but it's not quite full enough yet. Ugh. Another big scoop right there. Just keep scooping, honestly, until you have enough. Like, this is probably plenty right here. So, take a flat edge. I'm just taking, like, a froster. I don't think I have enough, you guys. Look, at him. One more big scoop, and then there's plenty. Okay, so go like this. Kind of spread it all around gently and evenly, and then kind of cut everything like this. And I should have beat my butter first. That was a great part. Okay, so I guess everything else cut out. So you're going to want a teaspoon of vanilla along with three cups of confectioner sugar. And then wash your dish. And then just a little bit of vanilla. About one teaspoon. And then two tablespoons or of heavy whipping cream. I'm using milk. Um, same thing. Well, not really. But mix all that up. And then beat your butter first. You want room temperature butter. You want a cup of that. I'll put everything here so you guys can see in order. My phone was glitching and it just cut out, you guys. I don't know. But mix. So I have my beautiful cupcakes here. And then here are the little cupcake things I was talking about. We just have them. And these hold 12, so I'm just going to like line them in here. Um, hopefully there's like enough space on the top for enough frosting. I don't know. But um, I'm just kind of going to do that and then pop, pipe the frosting like so. So here's one and here's my other one. I'm just making sure I can do their clean, trust me. On that, I would never do something dirty. But here are our other cupcakes. I'm not gonna put any filling or anything in these. Why did someone eat one? Um. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start piping my frosting. So I'm gonna take, I don't even know, a piping tip. And let's do this one. So this one. So this is the tip. It's a built-in 2D. I don't know if you guys can see, but insert that sucker in to your packing bag. And I go like this and then just pop all your frosting. Not like that, like this. Oh my gosh, good. into your piping bag in your hands. So just to keep that as necessary. I'm not gonna put a lot of frosting just because it's like super sweet. Frosting started to melt, so obviously I had to improvise. This one was way too much, but that's okay. We're learning. These ones turned out really good, though. So, yeah. And that is it for today's video, video you guys. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.